Today we're looking at the Darwin FPV Hulk Mini 3. Darwin have been making waterproof drones for a while now. First was the Hulk which we own, then the Hulk 2 and now the Hulk 3 Mini. The other two were 5 inches, this is a 3.5 inch and I'm thinking that's where it gets the name Mini from. In the box you get the drone, you get the O4 camera case which comes in this bag, you get a battery bumper, you get two noodle floats, a complete sponge kit to go around the ducts for even more protection, plenty of spare screws and bolts, all your usual information and support cards, and as always, some Darwin stickers. Oh, and let's not forget the complimentary screwdriver kit that Darwin give away with their drones. So the ducts do look pretty tough, there's a tiny bit of play in them. They do remind me of the Cine 820 ducts, which I didn't manage to break. And they still come with a complete sponge kit to go all the way around the edge to give you more protection. The props are Genfan D90S's tri-blade props. Um, you don't get any spares with the kit, but when you buy the drone, they are an option at the bottom to add. So make sure you add yourself some spare props. It's a fast drone, that's for sure. I've had a great time racing up and down the fields testing how fast it can go. I always use these fields when I very first test a new drone because you just never know how they're going to behave. There's no buildings close by and it's very big. The wind comes in off the sea here so it can be a bit challenging at times but this is more than capable. This has got a wind rating of 7. The motors are from Darwin's latest seawater series which boasts an IP67 rating. They have several technologies built in, which means these can be fully submerged in salt water. I'll put the details on the screen now. Just pause the video if you want to read it all. The motors are specifically designed for three and a half inch ducted drones. They're 2200 kV and provide the Mini 3 with over four kilograms of thrust. So the drone is available in analog. If it was analog, you'd have a camera in the front and you'd have a big waterproof antenna on the back. This is the O4 version and the whole O4 is in that aluminium case. It's supposed to act as a heat sink and keep the camera waterproof. So to install the O4 in here, you do have to decase the camera. I watched a quick YouTube video, it's two screws, it's very easy, it took me about five minutes. I've had absolutely no problem with overheating, however, it is just coming into winter in the UK. So I wouldn't expect there to be any problems anyway. And the drone also comes with two floats. If we mount one of these on top and the battery underneath and you go in the water, the drone will automatically right itself. So under normal circumstances, with the battery on top, this becomes like a protective cage. I would have liked it to have been a bit taller so it covered the whole of the battery, but I do think it's a good idea. This bar here, stops your camera coming back too far but it also stops your battery shooting forward in a crash and the drone weighs 436 grams with a 1300 mile battery 654 grams the carbon on top is two millimeters thick and the carbon on the frame is three and a half millimeters thick so if you buy the lrs version like mine the receiver's tucked away right in there. It is a waterproof receiver. It is Darwin's own receiver and I have used it before. I didn't have no complaints then, so I'm sure I won't have no complaints now. The recommended battery is 1300 milliamp. These are 1350 milliamp, so we're going to test these out on our flight. Um, Darwin do actually make fully waterproof lipos now, so if you're interested in trying them out, check them out on the site. Um, I will put a link for them in the description. All models come with the GPS. GPS is turned off in beta flight, but it is set up for you. All you need to do is turn it on. The flight controller is the F4 cement waterproof version, and it's paired with their 60 amp waterproof ESC, which has a burst ampage of 80 amps. Beta flight was very straightforward. I just set up my switches, enabled the GPS, and made sure that my fail safe stage two was correct. 
I put in my rakes and was ready to go. I wanted to test out the waterproofing, so the very first thing I did was put it in the sea. It is very important to rinse the drain with fresh water as soon as possible if you're going salt water. It's not the water that you need to worry about, it's the salt that will corrode things. It really flies well. In fact, every Darwin drone I've ever flown has been tuned well, and this is no exception. Well, she certainly didn't disappoint. I really enjoyed that and she's absolutely fine. I got home, rinsed off all the salt water and left her off to dry. So that was the Darwin FPV Hulk Mini 3. Any questions, pop them in the comments. I will answer. If you like the video, please hit the like button and we'll see you on the next one.